Michigan plays in the Big Ten Championship game this Saturday night, 8 o'clock on Fox. They play against Iowa. The point spread is astronomical. Currently at FanDuel, if you want to bet Michigan, you got to lay 23 and a half. Um, I, again, I can't believe these are real words that are, come out, are going to come out of my mouth. And I need to say them very slowly so that you can process this. There is a prop bet for first half and second half individual team scoring. Okay, so you're just betting how many points a team will score. And the over-under in the first half and second half, like each half you can bet, the over-under for Iowa's team scoring is 0.5 points. So you are literally betting on whether they'll be shut out or not. That's how bad they are offensively. So with that in mind, let's set the exciting scene for the Big Ten Championship game. I am not going to insult your intelligence. Michigan's going to win this thing. I think they'll win it handedly. But if the disaster scenario were to unfold, how would it happen? How would Iowa pull this off? Well, obviously, we're going to need multiple turnovers, but it's not even just that. They need multiple turnovers in which they score on the play. Um, they've got to get Michigan into enough third and longs to where Michigan is hopefully dumb enough to take some offensive risks that they don't really need to. Because once they score 14 or 17, it's a wrap. May not need that many. Uh, but if Michigan will put the ball in the air, like, I, I, again, I, I'm saying a lot of this stuff and I'm not joking. Iowa's best scoring opportunities are when Michigan has the ball. And that's just a fact that even Iowa fans know. So they got to have Michigan put the ball in the air. And at that point, they got to be the ones to catch it and score. Because that brings me to point number two. Non-offensive points are the only way that Iowa wins this game. They've got to score defensively, point blank. They, forget field position. they got to score defensively. They've got to score on special teams. And then they've got to melt the game, and they got to empty the bag. There's no reason to be careful here, okay? No one cares. If you get blown out by Michigan, you get blown out. Please go down swinging, whatever that means in Iowa offensive terms. Please go down swinging. Like, empty the bag. Maybe you got a little halfback reverse. You got a, a fullback pass. Empty it. Man, what's the worst that can happen? They beat you. They're going to anyway. You might as well try some things. And the other part, the melting the game part is they are good defensively. I was very good defensively. And maybe instead of Michigan getting 11 drives, maybe they get eight drives. And, you know, the less opportunities that a superior team has to hold the ball, the greater the variance and potential outcome. I've tried. Colin, let's take a look at what the model thinks. FanDuel has Michigan minus 23 and a half. I do have a ray of good news here. The model only has Michigan winning by 22 and a half. I think Michigan can be very comfortable if they get 14 points on the board. And at that point, you just cruise. The over-under is 34 and a half in the game. Just ridiculous when you have a top five team in a game and the total is 34 and a half. But Iowa has completely redefined what's possible in all the wrong ways in college football games this year. I'm taking Michigan to win. I am taking Iowa to cover. Iowa may not need to score a point to cover in the game. So there, there, there is a 20 to nothing win in the cards. There's a 23 to nothing win for Michigan in the cards. That's as good as I can do. I'm sorry. 